Welcome to the MMA Neighborhood. Yeah. I'm Devin. And I am Steven. And we are back. And we are going over UFC 267, Blockowicz versus Glover to sure, oh, baby. Damn. I can't wait. This is crazy. But don't let the, the main card mistake you. This is a Russian card here, baby. Because every freaking fighter on this card besides the main event is Russian, man. So I'm just going to say sorry uh, early on if we butcher like... <laughs> Um, like 90% of these names because uh, my Russian is not too great. Steve's been getting better, though. I've been so. getting better with my Steve. Russian, but some of these are yeah. even, uh, you know, we might need that Google Translator. Yeah, like Google you said, Translator. You know, we might need here, that Google man. Translator. You know what I'm saying, Doc? There's a lot of Russians up in here, man. So yeah, it's a freaking yeah. mob, all right? Bro. But let's start it off. We got six fights on this main card. Ooh. And the first one, you want us to go ahead and run that one? It, it's, it's a light heavyweight bout with Magomed. Uh, see, this is where it comes in. Magomed's good. Magomed Ankalov. Ankalov. An- Ankalov, baby. Ankalov yeah. versus Volkan Ozdemir. There we go. Ooh. Volkan Ozdemir. I haven't seen him for a while, actually. I He's thought- been a while. His last uh, fight was a loss to Yuri. Oh. Yuri, yeah. bro. Your, your guy, bro, bro Chalk of Zagok. Did, did he whip his ass? <laughs> How'd he lose? Uh, Just knockout. Damn. Yeah. Yuri, Yuri, yeah. Speaking of Yuri. Jerry, yeah. yeah, he's gonna be the backup fighter if something happens to the main event. Yeah, that's he right. He is on backup to take over, but yeah, Jerry's okay. a beast, bro. And Volkov it, or Volkan, Ozdemir. Volkan Ozdemir. He's he's a beast too, bro. He no is. time. I mean, I remember he was going in there knocking out people. He didn't have time for anything else, dude. So he'd be in there in thirty seconds finishing the job. Yeah. But now it's been like it hasn't been his time lately. Well, he was on a he was he lost three fights to DC Anthony Smith and Dominic Reyes, and he won two fights versus Latifi, uh, Radic, and then he lost to Yuri. Yeah, so, so he's, he's making a little comeback, and he, then he fell. He's on and off, you know. Fell to Yuri, which is no no joke as well. Yeah, and um, Magomed, he's on a six fight win streak. Yeah, he's you doing, know what I'm saying. He's, he's, he's a beast. A, he's beating the fuck out of fools. He just knocked out Kutalaba, right? Kutalaba. No, Eon? that was the fight before. Fight before. He just fought Nick. Nikita, Nikita Kraloff. Uh, if I don't remember, if I remember correctly, Nikita. that shit was a snooze. It was a decision. It was a decision, huh? yeah. yeah. But before that, he was doing pretty solid. He took out Eon pretty. Yeah, he took he, out the Hulk twice. Twice. Yeah, yeah, the first one was questionable, but yeah. the second one was not. Yeah, that was the one. That was the bad stoppage. Yeah, the first, the first one. one was bad stoppage, but the second one he still deal, baby. Yeah, dude. I, I this ca- guy's a beast. I remember bro. calling that one. Yeah, Mal- I calling Magomedov that one. or whatever. Magomed. Magomed. Yeah. Is beast, bro. Yeah. So I'm scared for uh, Volcan. If you would have asked me this like a couple years ago, I probably would have picked Volcan. Mm-hmm. But uh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna lean towards that Russian baby. Yeah. Is yeah, that right? I'm Why like, is that, dude? Because that guy's looking crazy big. He's is a big he? guy. His striking is very sharp. I mean, Volcan's game though, baby. I mean, this could be a close fight. But the Magomed or Mega Magomed 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 that guy, <laughs> that dude. I mean, his range, it's, it's hard to get in on him, you know, and I could see him um, giving Volkan problems with his range, just like Jerry did. Well, I'm going to agree with you um, with Magomed. I just feel like he's on such a momentum right now, and he's kind of progressing pretty style, uh, pretty good with his style and everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, Punching-wise, his striking and everything, he's able to do some good stuff. That first fight with Ion, you know, it was kind of a little back and forth, but the second fight with Ion, like, he just, he, he fucked him up. Yeah. There was no doubt about it. And then uh, you know he had a little snoozer after that, but it's okay. He's fifteen and one. Uh, I'm going Magomed. I uh, don't know how. How do you think? Um, I go decision, baby. Decision. Yeah. Well, if you're gonna say decision, I'm saying a second round knockout, Damn. baby. I'm sorry, Volcan. And let's not uh, act like this is a surprise. I'm not surprised, baby. <laughs> I'm I not mean, surprised. I'm not surprised. I think he like, will be surprised. Nah, Steve picks. <laughs> we all know. All oh, Russian. Don't bet against the Russians. So I'd be uh, surprised if you do bet against one tonight. <laughs> but moving on, let's go. We got six fights. What's the next one you got here, baby? Oh, we got that Lee Jingaling oh, versus Hazmat. Jingaling Lee, baby. Oh. oh. Oh, hazmat dude. speaking of, has been out for a while that dude coronavirus hit that boy strong huh oh, yeah he got fucked he up was supposed like to be the set, dog. hottest prospect in the game he just came off like a fucking 10 second knockout one punch knockout and then boom he gets hit with that corona you know 91 or whatever and that corona 19 and this falls out dude he yeah. can't train he trains too hard and he just can't every, get his shit together he's nine and zero oh in every fight he's finished 100% every, finish rate. 100% finish rate. Well, Jinga Ling Lee. Lee Jing, Lee Jinga Ling, you know what I'm saying? Dude, That's my boy. he's come off a great knockout over 
Ponzi Navo. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Santiago. Santiago. Ponzi Ponzi uh, <laughs> Santiago. Dude, yeah. I, I had Santiago in that one, dude. Bro, that yeah, was a good fight. The first round knocked him out, dude. Lee Jingling, dude, that fool has some mi- really good striking. And I kind of see it being a striking versus grappler, even though guy has hands too. Uh, hazmat or whatever you say. I think Hazmat has too much going, has too much pressure just uh, to wrestle fuck him. He's going to wrestle fuck him. No, he's not. If he gets you, hit. You know, if he wrestle fucks, everyone's going to talk shit. Nah. And he knows this. What if he gets if he gets out there and gets tagged, though? Ling Jing Ling gives him a nice little fucking lick. He's, he's gonna fucking want to kick that shit to the ground real fast, baby. I mean, we're gonna find out. Hell yeah, dude. What you, wait, you, as see, soon as his first punch misses, he's like, ah, fuck. I gotta take this boy down, dude. How do you see this fight going? I see Lee Jing Ling catching him a little bit. Might be scaring, scare him a little bit. Oh. He might get a little scared. What? He might be a little wobble real fast. And then I see Chaz Matt taking him down, doing his bread and butter and finishing the fight on the ground. Really? Yes, sir. What round? I'm going to give it a first or second. I think this is going to get to to the action pretty fast. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to go with the opposite, actually. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Uh, my boy Lee Jingling, he's oh. going to fuck homeboy up. He's going to derail the hype train. Wow. That is the 9 and 0, 100% finish rate hazmat. Dude. My boy Lee Jingling is going to fuck him up. You sure you don't want to timestamp Every- this, buddy? Because <laughs> you're going against the Russian, boy. I, I know. I know. Trust Damn, me. Damn, already? I Tr- thought like later in the fights, maybe, but already. Second uh, fight on the uh, card, he's going against his main role. I boys. know. I know my own rule. I don't bet against Russians, but you know what, man? Boy, My boy Lee Jingling, you know, he's 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 got some skills, you know what I'm saying? Um he might not have the record like a nine and no, but it's all right. I think uh his striking's uh very good. Yeah. And no, it's really fucking good. And he has a good shot. He does. Like I said, I think he's gonna scare him, but I don't I think Hazmat, if he's smart, he's gonna fucking take it down. I, I, see, that's what that's that's where we differ. It's, I don't think he has he has so much pressure on him to finish this fight and to be known as a badass, like official bona fide badass, that he can't just wrestle fuck him and just make this a snoozer. He He's can't gonna wrestle fuck him. The, this well, is Russia. They're in Russia, basically. <laughs> Lee Jingling, Lee Jingling for a, a finish. Dude, he's he's in the he's in with all his Russian homeboys. They're all gonna be like, oh, do you wrestle him? What are you doing? Mm. They're all gonna praise his wrestling. He's being fine. He ain't in America states. He don't gotta do nothing flashy. He'll be fine. He needs to win. That's more important than doing anything else. Lee Jingling's going to finish But him. we'll see. That's a long layoff. Lee Jingling looking hot. You seen that, fa- that stare off, dude? Oh. Ooh, I wouldn't want to fight. You look mean, dude. Dude, leave it mean, dog. Dude, he looks like a beast, I bro. think this might be a great scrap. I can't I, wait to see I it. I like Lee Jingling. I like bro. him, too, bro. Let's see what happens, Ooh. baby. All right. Now for the third fight, Alexander Volkov Ooh. versus Marcin Tibera. Yeah. Damn, dude, that's a great. This is a stacked card. Oh, and not to forget, man. This what time does this fucker start? This is an early bird special, dude. Boys. We're in California, so the prelims start at like seven. Seven, baby. And the main card starts at eleven. Damn. So yeah, yeah and we're talking a.m., baby. So in wake the, up, the make your eggs, and but it's our first. And, it's our first free fight here in America. That's awesome, dude. Which right? is a. Uh, Dope as it's shit. It's about damn time. <laughs> it's baby. about damn time because apparently everybody else gets it for fucking free. So if you, you know, wake up, make yourself a screwdriver or a little <laughs> champagne breakfast and brunch, and watch oh. some good fights, baby. Is that what's good for tomorrow? Yeah, let's go, baby. Yeah. Saturday, Saturday night, Saturday morning, <laughs> Saturday morning. <laughs> we're gonna get we're gonna get some champagne and or- orange yeah, juice. Yeah, dude, why not? We'll brunch it up, baby. Dude, fuck let's yeah. Get it. Let's I'll make go. you some breakfast, baby. <laughs> 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 I like my egg scramble. <laughs> but let's get back to the fight. <laughs> Back to the fights. We this one a heavyweight banger, Volkov versus Marson. Marson, dude, Marson's on a good tear. He's just coming uh, off that win off Greg Hardy, right? Nope. He, uh, Walt Harris. Walt Harris, and he beat Greg Hardy before, right? Greg Hardy, so, dude, then Ben Rothwell, what? and then he's dude. on a five fight win streak. The guys you just mentioned, Rothwell, Hardy, freaking Walt Harris, dude. These guys are monsters. Yes. And Tyson's a bur- or my bad. Tybura is freaking, he's a smaller heavyweight, yep. and he wins. He takes these guys' his punches, his power. He takes these huge shots and mm. just weathers the storm and comes back and somehow wins these fucking fights, man. Yes. And that, I might have him in this one, dude. I know Volkov is looking great. He just lost to Serial Gone. Yeah, which uh, is but, the interim champ but now. But before that, he knocked out Alistair Overeem and Walt Harris. Damn. So, you know. It's, dude, it's, this is a toss up for me, man. Dude, it's it's a great fight. It is. If Ty is gonna get up there in them rankings, he has to win this one. Has to. And he's putting all this work. He's taking these 
big ass shots, dude. He can't let it go to waste. He has to finish. He has to beat Volkov to Volkov to get to the top of this division. And this is, I think, his one chance. This to is get a there. make or break. Yeah, um, Volkov. He's hanging in a good spot. He's hanging pretty. He's chilling, but he's almost slipping off. Yeah, and if he loses this one, it can drop him in the bottom ten of the rankings. You know, it's and he'll yeah. lose his. You know, he'll lose a chance to get momentum. Yeah. But that's the thing, man. I don't Tiber, the way he comes back and fights is just like you can't count him out in any yeah, round, no. dude. But I see a Stanima deficiency on his part, mm-hmm. which is why I'm more more so leaning towards uh Volkov. Volkov for sure in yeah. this one. And uh, the range that, that's my the range is ridiculous. The range is probably gonna be ridiculous. I mean, Alexander Volkov, I feel like yeah, he's what is gonna six he, eleven the dude's a fucking I, monster. I don't I don't I don't have that information, sir. He's skyscraper <laughs> Junior, bro. <laughs> skyscraper Junior. Uh but I see Volkov really piecing him up. Uh, picking him apart, you know, staying on the outside, not letting him get too close yeah. to uh, Merson, uh, Marson, whatever. Marson Tiber, yeah. yeah. Uh, I feel like he's going to stay on the outside, piece him up, nice leg kicks, you know, jab him up uh, very nicely. Um, he, main critique, or not critique, but main, like, thing is he has to keep the footwork moving. Yeah, if you and stay don't, stationary. don't go moving backwards because he's a, a hard hitter, you know what I'm saying, Marson Tiber, yeah. you know, just make sure you keep it moving, piece them up, continuous spin around. That would be the like the key to victory yeah. for me. Keep for him at the end of that jab too, making yes. sure you don't close this. Yeah, I, I, you know I'm going for the dog in this one, bro. Oh, I think going? I think he's gonna get hit. I think okay. Tiber is gonna get hit again. But he's been there, done that, took in them fucking shots before, and he's gonna make it. Fin- he's gonna finish this boy, dude. Because if he gets him to the ground too, I think that's Tiberius' world too. He can ground dominate him on the ground, ground and pound win. He'd have to get him to the ground. I think I see a, a TKO, TKO, ground and pound, third round. Marson? That's what I'm going for, Whoa, baby. The dog. Okay. I got the dog in this one. All right. I'm sorry, man. Yeah. He's on a hot tear. The other guy just coming off a loss. He's got momentum. Let's go. To the interim Let's champion. Let's go, baby. Though. Though. Let's go. Let's get that momentum. Okay. Rolling, All right. Okay. I like this guy. I like the comeback Woo. kid, baby. Let's go. Okay. Now we go into like the, the hot and spicy shit right here. Islam versus Dan Hooker. Damn. I can't pronounce Islam's a fucking last damn, name. Damn, Daniel. Life. Damn, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Dude. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> I'm, hook, I'm hooked on Hooker, baby. Dude. This fool is fucking... Call, he's taking fights short notice. He's calling people out. He's fighting the best. He's reminding me of like a young cowboy Cerrone right Bro, now. Bro, right Just now. Wild Wild West. Let's go. Whoever wants it, baby. He's the, he's the original... Bad motherfucker, man. Fuck that belt. Like, this is... He's yeah. a bad motherfucker. He's taking over that You know shit. what I'm saying? He don't give a shit. Yeah, mind you, he got laid out by Michael Chandler, but that's why I respect him more, because he's taking fights quick. Yes. And he's, he made a great turnaround against the last guy, Gosselin Jr. He yeah, beat, Gosselin Jr. He worked his ass, no problem, but now he's got a way tougher opponent in front of him. Dude. Freaking Khabib Jr., dog. It's oh, not Gosselin Jr. Now Khabib. you got Khabib Jr., He's beating bro. the juniors off. Yeah, so can he take <laughs> another junior, son? I don't know, bro. They got a lot of hype behind this Khabib Jr., dude. dude. They're saying he's the best ever. Okay, like, hold on. So what's Khabib going on? Khabib Jr. is minus 650. Hooker is plus 460. The odds insane. are Minus insane. 600. Minus 600, yeah. Bro. The dude's a beast. Huge Everybody's riding, riding his nuts all the way to the end. They're saying he's khabib out. Khabib probably in his corner, too, whispering in his ear, sweet nothings all night. <laughs> And it's going to be a great fight, baby. Dan well, Hooker's coming game, though. Don't you fucking think he's just going to lay on his no, ass and eat fucking fist all night. He's coming to knock this boy out, bro. So let's see it, baby. So, How do you see it playing out, steve uh, Islam is on a eight-fight win streak right now, mm-hmm. but his last loss was a knockout. You got to knock the fuck out. I don't think he ever got knocked out in UFC, though. I think he's on a few yeah. UFC. Uh, the dude's booking. Either way. Either way, he still got knocked out. Yeah, he's been there. I so mean, that tells me he's... A, He's capable of getting knocked out. He ain't, he ain't Khabib. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Take a fucking man. Yeah. You, know? you know what I'm saying? Dan Hooker, he hits like a beast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and he's very versatile with his strikes. He's, he's got a fucking knees that come out of nowhere. He'll take the chin right off of the knee. If he could time a knee on a good takedown attempt from Khabib Jr., then. He can end the night very early. Yeah, but, but I don't. I don't. I honestly don't see Dan Hooker being able to take him down. No, I'm saying Dan Hooker knees Islam on a takedown attempt. Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah. know he can end Islam's night with a knee, a good t- place knee, because yeah. he's so tall. They come so easy, baby. Yeah. But he's just really gotta be using his footwork, bro. Because if he gets True. pinned against the cage, he's gonna get be- Khabib up. True. So, um, how do you see this fight going? I just made that one up. Khabib up. <laughs> Khabib up. <laughs> I, I can see, uh, dude. Honestly, I'm gonna be this one. I'm not gonna go for the dog. I want the dog to win, but my bet would be on Islam. How could you bet against the guy? He's shown nothing but improvement. His ground game looks insane, 
and he's going to be a tough, tough bitch to beat. All right. Well, I feel like all signs are pointing to Dan Hooker, in my opinion. All signs are pointing to Dan. I mean, the Hooker. stars are aligning. Stars are aligning. He's yeah. he's do he's making the sacrifices. He's hungry, baby. He's doing everything to you know make this fight happen and to win it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? In my opinion, I feel like Dan Hooker. He's already in the mode. He took very little damage in his last fight. That's why he was able to take this one. You know, he's already in shape. He's already in that zone. Yeah, he's. Do you know what I'm too. saying? He's ready. To eat. Uh, I feel like Dan Hooker is gonna surprise a lot of motherfuckers tonight, or not tonight. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday morning. morning. <laughs> uh, he, Dan Hooker's gonna surprise a lot of motherfuckers in that uh, tomorrow morning. Yeah, and I got Dan Hooker. Um, Ooh. it's gonna be a finish. I got an Islam decision. I think Hooker's gonna scare him again. No, but I think Islam will take it just like Hazmat. We'll see. All right, though. all right. And you're betting against the Russian again. So that's yep. two. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Here? I know, dude. This I knew this card was gonna oh flip God, you out a little dude. bit. <laughs> yeah, this, this is not Steven. This is not him. He, I know. Cause he's gonna timestamp all this shit. You can go back. I didn't oh, bet against those Russians, dude. He'll never bet him against. Everybody knows I don't bet against Russians at all. We'll see though. Like, at they all. can't all win, can they? they can, can they? Can they all I don't, I don't win? Know. Yeah. <laughs> Six in a row. Ooh. So co-main, it's time yeah. for the co-main it's event co-main, of the buddy. evening, baby. Damn. The bantamweight interim title bout versus Petra Jan versus Corey oh, Sanhagen. Shit. And this was originally supposed to be the rematch between Jan and Sterling because yep. of that illegal. Me that Jan pulled on Sterling, yes. and so Sterling got a fake belt out of it, and oh my God. now he's still holding on to the fake belt, and we got an interim <laughs> fake belt again, so now well, we got two it, fake belts. It's the, Yeah, because it should be Dillashaw yeah. if he wasn't injured. So, and then, yeah, but Corey Sanhagen actually beat Dillashaw. No, anyway, he didn't. So. You know what? I'm going to go on record. Dillashaw we, got his go ass kicked. I'm going to go on record. Uh, and this is good karma. <laughs> I'm going to go on record. Dillashaw beat Sanhagen. This is Steven talking. So if you want to fucking talk shit, yeah. post your shit in the comment section. I will gladly reply with my rebuttals. Hey, let, Don't trip. Hey, who got the title shot? You think the winner of uh, that fight? D- Dillashaw, Dillashaw's <laughs> injured. He uh, had a surgery. Yeah, okay? he got so, his fucking knee blown out in that oh fight, Oh, my baby. God. He was a piece Man, up. whatever, piece fool. Up. But anyway, since two guys are fucking not fighting. Two losers. <laughs> Dillashaw and oh, shut Sterling. Up. <laughs> shut the fuck up, dude. Since the loser can't fight the winner's will. Oh so my Corey God. Sanhagen takes on good. Peter Yawn, and here we go, baby. <laughs> oh we got a real championship fight anyways. This all is right. I like all right. Anyways. All right. And I, I like both guys, man. This is tough, man. You got Corey Sanhagen. He's elusive out there. He's doing spinny shit. He's fucking making you think real hard on the feet. And his ground game looked pretty good offensively. You know, he's not a takedown artist or nothing, but off his back, he looked, didn't look pretty bad he looks pretty good yeah so then you got peter Yan. he's a fucking monster dude he's a little monster dog. Yeah, he comes in a... there and he he takes shots he's a terminator you'll take your best shot and he's gonna give you one better and he's gonna keep coming forward man and he's gonna he's got stamina for days baby I mean, he does it's gonna be and you know he was beating the shit out of al in the later rounds in the later rounds yeah you know? um and then Corey stan hagan he, you know, he lost to Dillashaw, but he was looking good. But he beat Frankie Edgar because who the fuck doesn't? Oh, God, you had to say that. Who the fuck doesn't? You had to bring uh, it up. Well, he, it was probably one of the knockouts of the year, though. It's up there. It's, I mean, because Frankie it's, Edgar's it's a, a nominee. He's just a knockout person. Uh, yeah, now. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. you want a quick knockout? Fight no, Frankie Edgar. It's not Gla- true. He's Mr. Glassjaw. It's only knockout. Second knockout. Yeah, that's, anyway, why, you, that's why you stutter. That's why you, <laughs> second he's, knockout. He's, he's, that's he's, the second. There's our Continue. <laughs> uh, uh, Marlon, and he also not uh, TKO Marlon Marias. That uh, was a good one. The spinning heel kick, dude. That's yes. really badass. Uh, Both it, but got, yeah. he did get submitted by your boy, the champ, Sterling. Aljamain Sterling, in the quick, Paper champ. very quick, very great showing for Aljamain. Yeah, that um, was probably his best, for sure. He was great. Um, so this is a very good matchup. I, I, the technicality of uh, San Hagen's very going to play a part, but... Is uh is Jan gonna pressure him? Is he gonna go forward? Is he gonna you know give him the space? You know, kind of like Dillashaw was kind of like not all up in his face, but kind of find trying to find a way in between uh San Hagen's punches, trying to counter him. Yeah, Dillashaw won that fight because he pressured. He kept on him even if he's getting hit. Yeah, and he's kept going forward. And I yeah. think Peter Jan will implement some of the same, but add more grab. I don't know, like Peter Jan. And I I see the same problem. You know, yeah, like, I, I don't see Peter Jan being able to take him down. 
Well, and if he know. does, it's not going to be for long. You know what I like to see? Those fucking foot sweeps he's busting out on Sterling in the later rounds, dude. Those were slick. And but, I, I mean, the later rounds, Aljamain Sterling was getting fucked right, up. Right, but right. those, those sweeps where he's just throwing the motherfucker on his ass right there, that was, those were good. That, that could work on Corey Sanhagen. I, I see Sanhagen getting some good shots in early, mm-hmm. you know? But like I said, Jan's going to weather it, and he's going to make him pay for it later. Yeah. I think he's just going to keep – he might let him get some licks in. He's going to keep coming forward, though, and eventually break Corey Sanhagen, in my opinion. Okay, well, so what do you got? That's you got. I Sam- got Peter Yan, dude. I'm going to go with a five-round decision, though. It's going to be a, a long war, and it's going to be worth watching every minute of it. It's going to be awesome. It's for the fans. This is going to be a great-ass fucking title fight. Okay. And I hope the best for Corey as well. You know, Sanhagen gets a second shot for redemption right now, and he gets a chance to get that belt, too. But it might be too soon. And might be too tough because he's got a fucking monster in front of him. So okay. I got Yon, fifth round decision. Fifth round decision. Okay, well, you know, this one, I had, I've been going back and forth on this one, like, a lot. Um, but I'm going to have to go with uh, Sanhagen. Damn, San look at him. He's right in deal of Shaw's nuts. <laughs> oh, my God. And now he's over here swinging on Corey's, baby. Look at Shut that. Shut the around. fuck and up. This, wait, is that... Three Russians now. This guy, he's a I, betrayer. I, dude, fuck I you. I vote on more Russians than him, dude. What's going <laughs> on, dude? He betrayed Look, his I, own country here. I see this being a TKO technicality what? versus a, a technicality. Uh, Peter Jan's a brute force, you know what I'm saying? How do you Force see, to be reckoned yeah, with. Yeah, tell me how you see Sarah Hagen okay, pulling hold this shit on. off, Hold please. the fuck on, then. Let's do it. All right. Hold on. Let me see. Tell I me. see Sanhagen's technicality being a very big part in this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he's a little more flashy with the stand-up uh, striking-wise than, say, like a Sterling, even though Sterling does have some technicality with it, but he right. wasn't ever really able to pop off. I feel like Sanhagen's going to be able to find room to pop off. And I don't see how a powerhouse who is sometimes too wild for his own good I feel like something's gonna backfire, and he's gonna overcommit to something, get and caught. he's gonna get caught. And I feel like it's gonna he's gonna drop, and uh, San Hayden's gonna TKO him in the oh, third round. Fuck, dude, you're scaring me. I'm like envisioning all this in my head. Now. Exactly, I paint a but picture. I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. That was in a good paint. I feel. Oh, fuck you. No. You saw it though, right? Yeah. Okay, then. I it think was the, good I enough. Think Cor- it was good enough. It was good, and <laughs> it could happen. You're right. I mean, Corey San Hayden has the tools to beat him. You know. I, yes. That's that's how I see but, it. You know, he didn't beat Dillashaw, even though I think he did. But he didn't. He couldn't finish Dillashaw. But is see, what I should say he couldn't finish him, even though Dillashaw was fucking out of blown knee and all that. He blown didn't finish knee, him. all that stuff. But the pressure, he's gonna try and counter this pressure because he knows Peter Yan's probably gonna do that, like you said. Yeah. There's a possibility of Peter Yan doing that. So if he counters the pressure and he counters uh, the octagon control, you know, yeah, using footwork, kicks, he's got great striking. I see this if Corey Sanhagen does the correct adjustments. He has to also prevent grappling and all that. Aspect. I think he could do if, he's got with, any with the clinch game with the proper distance. He's he, the the ground game's not gonna not gonna matter. I'm, it's gonna I'm be talking irrelevant. Clinch though, I'm talking against the cage. If, uh, Peter Yan's a he's a Muay Thai Tiger Muay Thai. Dude. Hey Brody, that boy's gonna put him against cage and clinch battle him. We'll see. Fuck his world up we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We will yeah, see. This is fight of the night, in my let, opinion, brother. This is this one gets my blood boiling. I'm, let's, I'm steaming, dude. Let's see if Peter Yan, he wants to get in clinch. Let's see if Corey Sanhagen's got some elbows for him oh, on his face. You know what I'm saying? We're going to fucking find dude. out. But I got Corey Sanhagen. A- my initial reaction was going to say fourth Damn. round, but I always know I'm one round off. So I'm going to say third round, TKO. <laughs> Bro, you're going to regret all these Russian <laughs> backstabbing Russians. If dude. I lose every Russian fight I bet dude. against, I'm going back to that's, forever my rule. Yeah, you'll, you'll freaking stay with that rule, baby. Oh, yeah. So that's that's it for that. But we got what <laughs> I think is. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, get it, baby. <laughs> Woo, for the man, even of the evening. <laughs> we got. The light heavyweight champion of the world, Jan Blachowicz versus Glover Teixeira, baby. Oh, shit. And damn. This is about uh, probably the last shot for Glover's career to get that light heavyweight title. It probably is. You know? It probably but Blachowicz is. Blachowicz got it, and no one counted him in there. But you know what, dude? <laughs> I, I counted. <laughs> you know what? I keep, I keep counting Glover out every fight, and you keep beating me on bets because... He was supposed to lose to the Yago Santos. Yep. Somehow wins. Yep. Because he gets into the ground. getting s- fucking sparked on the feet. Yep. And then I think the fight before he wins too. And he's losing to Anthony Smith or something like that. He knocks Anthony Smith's fucking teeth right out of his head. 
So Glover's still game, baby, and that's why he fucking earned and deserves this title shot. Yeah, uh, Glover is on a five fight win streak. Santos, Smith, like you said, Nikita, Ion, Kutabella, and Carl Robertson. Yeah, he deserves this, man. So he does. It's the last shot. If I if I was him, win or lose, I retire after this one, man. Win or lose. If he wins, he ain't retiring. I know you probably fight again, but still, dude, I'd leave on that. But anyways. Enough about him. We got the the main bitch of the evening, dude. Mm-hmm. We got Jan Blachowicz, dude. This fool's been doing nothing but fire lately, baby. Really? Still, and into, yeah. everything but fire? Everything but everything, dude. He's doing yeah. fire only. You, you think so? Fire only. You think so? Yeah, he's been took out. He started off that Coriander Massacre, baby. Ripped that fool apart, and that fool's still talking shit, so you might need to get another lick. Well, but before that Corey Anderson, he fought Souza, who moved up. Decision yes. win. Then yeah. before that, Root Rockhold moved up. Knocked Laid out, out Rockhold. and then that after, was scary, dude, dude. He destroyed him. And then after he knocked out Corey Anderson, it was Dominic Reyes who he TKO. That's where he sold me. And that, then that one right there, because the Reyes fight, yeah, was beautiful. And Reyes was number two coming off of Jones. Wasn't fight. that a kind of like a back and forth though? It was, but no, actually it wasn't. It was a dominated fight. Two rounds took two rounds. Yon just kept liver shotting him. He had a nasty body kick on Reyes. And Reyes' whole rib cage was black and blue. And then he mm. fucking breaks Reyes' nose right off his face. Mm. Just cracks him on the hook and <laughs> snaps his nose out. Because the dude's worried about body shots. He gets his fucking nose cracked. But that was a, that's when I got saw. I was like, damn, Yon. Damn. And then man. after Reyes, a uh, decision win versus Israel Adesanya, my boy. Yes. So, which he looked great in. He the looked all too. right in. I mean, he's going in. Israel's probably the number one striker in the game right now. True. You know? True. So for him to hang in there and play smart, I, I respect him in that one. He used his brain a lot, used fight IQ, mm-hmm. and he didn't he didn't make uh, mistakes in that fight. Okay, so we went over the records, who they beaten, yeah. all that stuff, so how we'll, good they look. How does it go down? How do how do you think it goes down? Well, I already know as you're going nice for it. Cinderella story would be for Glover to get his win. I wouldn't hate it, you know. But Jan, dude, he's on. Another, I think he's entered his peak right now. And he's going to be the best he can be in his whole damn career. And it's going to be hard to take him out right now. Yeah, He's got so? great striking. He's thinking smart. His experience with Israel is just going to make him grow as a better striker. Oh. And the thing with uh, Glover, though, is Glover's got a great submission game. And he knows how to take. He can throw a fucking great punch, too. Yep. But he's been tagged up on the feet lately. His ground game's been saving his ass. If he gets to the ground, I'm going to get a little nervous. But I'm going to say Yawn finishes fucking Glover. Third round, baby. TKO. Okay. Just catches him nicely on the feet. Works that body with them kicks. And he shows them what he's learned lately, baby. He takes the old man out of the game and makes him retire. That's what I'm seeing, baby. Well, uh, let me say this. <laughs> yeah, Jan Blakowicz is on a 5-5 five, five win streak. But three of those are kind of bullshit wins. Let's just be honest. Oh Corey Anderson, Souza, and Rockhold. Brody, come on. Two of them moved up from middleweight, and one of them any, anybody can knock out in that weight class, in that division. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Dominic Reyes, he's never he was never the same after that John Jones fight, so that doesn't really count to me either. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Israel Adesanya, he couldn't even finish. Couldn't hey, even. Joe Jones didn't finish him. Jones didn't finish Reyes. Jones almost lost that fight. Man, I don't give a shit. Yeah, kid, <laughs> continue. But my boy Glover Texera. Now, oh, I feel like wow. <laughs> the way he said it, I wonder who he's going to pick, baby. Let's My go. boy Glover. <laughs> you're right, though. He, his ground game's been saving his ass. He was been, get, has been getting his ass beat in a couple of these fights, and he ends up coming back. No one ever should challenge the heart of Glover. Ever. Never. Ever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But he does have hands, too. Like you said, he was knocking the teeth out of Anthony Smith. Oof. You know what I'm saying? Mid-fight. Yeah. Give him a dental job dude, for he sure. He fucked dude. him up. They had his dentist on the corner right there ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Dude. And he rear-naked choked Thiago Santos. Damn, that was bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Bloody. Damn. <laughs> You're right. I did call that fight. Yeah, you did, dude. I did call that, that fight. Tough. And I'm going to call it again. No! I'm going to call it again. Look at this. Call, this is going to be, I oh, think, Glover takes is like 40-something years old. Yeah. Buddy, he's finally going to be light heavyweight champion of the oh, UFC come tomorrow morning. Dude, chill, tomorrow, I'm sorry, tomorrow afternoon. Dude. Glover Teixeira is going to submit. Oh, he's going to no. submit. He's going to piece up Jan. Jan's going to get scared, try to go for a sloppy-ass takedown. Picture this. Remember these words, people. Jan's going to go for a sloppy-ass takedown to try and save himself, but it's going to backfire like a mo. And you said third round TKO for Jan? Yeah. I'm going fourth round submission. Damn. Fourth round submission, Dunskis. We have a new 
champion in the light heavyweight division. That's my call. Boom. Well, you painted a nice picture, brother. We'll there, see if it comes true yeah. or not. But well, I see Glover to serious teeth getting knocked out. Oh, that, baby. you're high. Fuck <laughs> yeah. the Polish power. Fuck no, the, the Polish, Polish power. power is coming, no. baby. This fool said he has a gift for Tashir, and it's going to be his teeth in his damn hands. Oh. So, that's what's coming oh. down the pipe, baby. Not even. Oh, this shit's going to be hot, baby. <laughs> I've never been so pumped for Dude, a Dude, Glover's going to fucking wreck homeboy. Dude, it's going to wreck him. I'm excited. I hope the fans are excited. We Dude. got the first free USC fight for fucking god knows how long uh, ever and yeah probably <laughs> ever in the states and we're gonna freaking enjoy it. baby if we gotta wake up get your coffee going totally. whatever get your little liqueur get your freaking get your champagne with mimosas, orange juice, you get your, or mimosas. Yeah, you get i know me and devon gonna yeah. enjoy those Let's tomorrow morning brunch baby ready to go oh, but hell yeah make enjoy sure, these fights baby dude make sure to follow us here on the youtube devon on the YouTube at MMA Neighborhood. And the IG. MMA Neighborhood underscore Graham. And make sure to comment, like, and subscribe because you know what? It's not the MMA Neighborhood without you. you. I'm Steven. I'm Devin. We will see you guys uh, probably tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe. Poss- There's a Sooner possibility. Sooner than later, baby. Enjoy the fights. Peace.